Wait, what? Yeah, We're okay. good. Uh, April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, right. Where do you want me? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, the third mic was set up. What are you guys uh, doing? We look like dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the April Fools. Break. What is going on? Right. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut, brought to you by Pirate Water. It's the best drink out there right now. We have a new delicious flavor, Wicked Tea. It's non-carbonated, um, unlike the other four that we have. So it's a completely new flavor. It's the blue can. It's so good. It tastes exactly like an iced tea. And it's a 10% ABV. It's a tall boy can. It's a malt beverage. It's under two dollars. So if you haven't tried it yet, make sure to try it. Uh, we love Pirate Water here, and we have five flavors now. So we have Margarita, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, Miami Mice, and like I just told you all about the Wicked Tea. So Wicked Tea is the hardest uh, launch tea in a can so the hardest tea to hit the high seas go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you or you can order it now on gopuff follow and tag at pirate water in your post for a chance to be reposted we love sipping on pirate water and if you haven't tried the new flavor yet i don't know what you're waiting for make sure to try it this whole entire podcast is brought to you by pirate water let's get into the episode why if i get rid of this i'll make equilibrium who's that for that's what i said francis ellis that's his last name right mm -hmm. fact check Press Incorrect. Up. Oh, it's not? It's Haven. Wait, that's what we can Yeah, that might, you guys, the new segment you wanted to do. Wait, what? With Francis? We talked about it Thursday night. That's April Fools. Actually, that's yeah. That's not funny. <laughs> it's not a joke. That's You're funny. bad liars. It's not a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually, yeah. I'm not that, the I joke just said that you were after here. the phone call and you guys said Thursday, I mean, you were drunk, but we weren't that drunk. Oh, well, about the you guys are pretty bad liars again still. Okay, <laughs> I just texted him. Wait, what? Yeah, We're good. Okay. Uh, April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, right. Where do you want me? <laughs> <laughs> this is like, right? the third mic was set up. What are you guys uh, doing? Now we look like dicks. <laughs> what? Even in the April Fools break. What is going on? Right in the water? middle, yeah. Really yeah, okay. of course. If this is an April Fool's prank, I look like a dick. Why? Because <laughs> I'm. I just go no. <laughs> well, I. Well, well, why were we conveniently talking about Francis right before that? Because because we talked about it on I don't have short-term memory loss. <laughs> Everyone's saying I do. We texted him on Friday morning because you guys said you wanted to do a new segment weekly. Where what? He teaches you? you guys words after you guys talked and you said conversate like, and he's doing him a game Francis on Friday. Would you guys want is to this do real? a plan brief for a new segment to teach Brie and Grace new words? You could start on Monday. He said, wow, plan Brie girls, I'd love nothing more. And he said, we said 3.30. Okay. This is elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, Grace. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Grandma's at the hospital, you prick. Oh my God. <laughs> really? Sit down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry to hear I'm that. I'm so confused. I'm confused. Wait, what's happening? Why what is, is happening? Happening? <laughs> <What's> happening? <laughs> I was told to join you guys for a segment? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Is that not? Yes. <laughs> Wait, did you not know that? I did, I totally did. <laughs> no, we didn't, is the thing. Is this a Is this a joke? We talked about it on Thursday. We talked about it. Is it actually April Fool's? <laughs> I'm wicked confused. I didn't. I can go. No, no I'm not I trying to do any. Okay, to do. perfect. Okay, this perfect. All right, good. sorry, sorry. We thought that they we were, thought they were epically pranking us. Man, <laughs> I, I, was, I was really excited. <laughs> no, we are. Lie. We are stoked. I love. I, you know, I was like really honored to be on the pod. So. Really happy to have you, hey, Francis. Sorry, no, I'm. I'm this threw me now. for a, no. I'm no, embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I forgot. I didn't even know. You didn't tell me. about I don't know. I don't know. In I was so fucked up. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> was it after Shroom that we talked about it? Maybe. Well, well, this is perfect. Happy to have you. Anyways. Guys. Sorry. This is good. Sorry. We don't have much for this episode, okay, anyways. Great. We can put this I have a fun, fun thing for us. <laughs> I'm quick, so quick. sorry. But, no, <laughs> it doesn't have to be quick. If you haven't started yet, we can. No, we'll just splice this in. Okay, splice yeah. it in. Yeah. That okay. sounds good. Sure. I want to put oh, this where yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. you comfortable. Wow. Making it special to me. You can also hold it if you want, whatever makes just you happy. That, I've just put that in between. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Hi. I'm so sorry about that. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, I really, this is, uh, this is we sort of like. Pranked. We thought we were getting pranked because mm -hmm. we were just on edge we for a prank. Know. Yeah, we were waiting for an April Fool's Day prank. Oh. 
Not to, say, thought, not to say we thought you were going to like cake us or tell us a crazy story. Oh my story god! Yeah, we I thought we were getting never. caked or something. We didn't know. We thought we were getting caked. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I would not have. <laughs> I would not have the the balls to do that to you guys. That would have been epic. Crazy. Um, do you guys wear headphones or no? Um, up to you. I don't want to if you're not. Gonna no, we know. don't. Good. Then let's not. I'd rather be out in the open. Man, my eyes from allergies. Is anyone else? <laughs> No, they're yeah. so irritated. You don't I, get that. My eyes are chapped. But my I'm eyes dehydrated. feel like they keep going cross-eyed, but I don't know what that's all about. Probably I haven't slept in a while. Not drink it from drinking too much on Thursday. What apparently. are we calling it? <laughs> There's a you ball say, sack. You on said the word microphone? of the week. Yeah, you did. You guys did. Yeah. Okay. Word, the words, yes. words we'll that teaches them. Yeah, maybe just give like one or two words that you're gonna teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. okay. I like but this. why can't we? You, you guys can introduce. Also, okay. I guess if you don't know what it is. No, we don't. I'll introduce it. I, oh I my think god! I, I, I thought you guys were so on board with this. I'm so in on this. I'm <laughs> just in on this. I just totally. I feel like I've mind. crashed. <laughs> I've crashed a wedding, and then people be like, "No, it's fine. We'll get you a plate. We'll get you a plate." <laughs> no, no, no! Don't go. You're here. You're wearing the bow tie. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have Francis here on the pod, and last week we called him because Grace had a word, conversate, conversate. and you're our token smart friend, and Thank we wanted you. to know if it was a real word. Yes. So now we have a new segment where yes. it's word, I don't know what we want to call it, word of the week, whatever, Francis is smart. Yeah. Yes. Well, I did a few, I've got a few, okay. and I think what I decided would be fun is to take words from your generation okay. that you incredibly hip people like to use mm. and give you some uh sort of <laughs> longer maybe more fun ways to say them okay 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 how does that I sound like i like this francis so francis is here to educate all of us and our listeners okay like yes. that's exactly right and mm. you have this young audience and i think that this is good for everyone to hear me too he went to harvard yes, yes. so so here's one you guys love to use the word mid Yes. Right? Yes. yes. Well, how would we use that in a sentence? What does mid mean? Oh, like, oh, that bitch was mid talking about me. What? Yeah. Or I would never say that about her. <laughs> no, that bitch on. is mid. Or yeah, you're saying something like, uh, it's average. It's average. Yeah. It's average. I went to Via Carota last night after working hard to secure a reservation. Mm. And despite the hype, I found the baked carrots mid. mid. Yes. That's how everyone's using it, just in that sense. That's them. <laughs> yes. That's them, right? That's them. That's good. Now, instead of saying that the baked carrots were mid, mm-hmm. we could call them humdrum. 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 I had never heard of that. That's this. a real word. Humdrum. Yeah, it means mediocre, bland, boring. Humdrum. 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 That's a smart word. That We're going to sound smart. Isn't that a good word? Yeah. There's nothing but humdrum. That's humdrum. That, that bitch was that humdrum. That bitch is humdrum. Yeah. yeah. Humdrum. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> that sounds good. Good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that bitch is humdrum. That bitch is humdrum. <laughs> that bitch is humdrum. <laughs> that bitch is yeah, humdrum. it could be if you say it like that, but yeah. but we want to remember that that bitch is actually humdrum. Humdrum. Yeah, She's yeah, humdrum. 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 We don't like that humdrum bitch. Okay, that's good. That Get out of here, humdrum bitch. Okay. Okay, good. Now, if we had said, actually, uh i think she's pretty cool and we said we want to let that person know that they're lying they're full of it mm-hmm. you might say that's cap yes yes that's yes. so that's cap, cap. Uh-huh. right uh-huh. well instead of saying cap we mm-hmm. might say that's mendacious that's oh, mendacious that's, that's mendacious. something that's just full of mendacious, mendacious. <laughs> full of mendacious. <laughs> Full of mendacity. The mendacity. Oh, the mendacity. Yes. The mendacity on that one. Yes. Okay. That's very I good. Like it. Yes. Mendacious is our adjective. Mendacity is the noun. Uh, it means, you know, that's not truthful or that's a crazy thing to say. Mendacious. That's cap. That's, that's mendacious. mendacious. We're getting rid of cap. We're taking the cap off. We're throwing it away and we're saying that's mendacious. That's, that's mendacious. mendacious. Right? And, oh, and I just can't even believe it at this point. It's right. mendacious. I now, like I got another one. <laughs> I'm having fun I'm with this. Jazzed. This is going so much better than I'm quite the, fir- the first five minutes of this. I am yes. apologetic about that. Yes. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's clearly my fault. Nope. I should have texted you. To we really confirm. screwed up. <laughs> All good. Okay. Um, you know how sometimes if uh, a, a 33-year-old uh, millennial woman, m- roughly my age, shows up to one of your cool parties Mm -hmm. and she's got the middle part and uh you know she's wearing skinny jeans Mm. you might quietly turn to each other and say big yikes 
Right? Big, yikes. big yikes! Big yikes! Big yikes! <laughs> yeah, isn't that one? Yeah, big yikes! Is that not big one? Yikes. We don't. I, big wait, yikes! I Google. We say yikes a lot. Yikes! Uh, <laughs> Gen Z terms. Okay. And that was one that was. We say yikes. Oh, you don't. Big yikes. But not big yikes. <laughs> nah. Damn. Like yeah, damn big yikes. yikes. Well, <laughs> big yikes. Darn. That's okay. Well, let's just pretend that that's maybe maybe some of Someone your listeners. Do. Yes, big yikes, anyone? People big comment yikes. big yikes on a lot of our videos. Big yeah. yikes. This is a big yikes. Uh, <laughs> instead of saying big yikes, you might say, "Boy, that middle part and those skinny jeans are galling." Galling. They're galling. Okay, galling. G a l l i n g. Galling. It's not my favorite. It's not as good as humdrum or mendacious. Mm -hmm. And I can tell from your lack of a response. No, it's good. It's, it's good. good. Galling. Didn't hit the way we. We still hoped. don't know that word, so Gall this is a win. It's Galling's galling. a good one. Um, or galling. you might say, you might say, "Ooh, that's so cringe." Her mm. middle part and her her skinny jeans <laughs> that are yeah. cutting off circulation to her toes. It's kind of. Um, a humdrum. Uh, it's, it's humdrum. It looks like she skins her knuckles when she reaches her phone out of her pocket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's cringe. It's so cringe. Instead of saying it's cringe, you might say it's discomforting. Oh, discomforting. Discomforting. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Instead of cringe, just discomforting. It's discomforting. Cringe, discomforting. Yeah. Yes. That's good. All right, last one. Uh, well, I'm trying to think of... Okay, so I don't still really know how to use this word. Okay. Ch chuggy? Chuggy? Chuggy. chuggy. Yes. So that would be the lady with the skinny jeans. Oh, she's yes. all that. She's chuggy. Yes. She's all she's wrapped all up chuggy. into one. Yes. One yes. California roll of mm -hmm. chuggy. Chugginess. Very well, good. Mm -hmm. yeah, you might say, oh, that whole look is archaic. 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 You might know I that one. Like that. You I might know that one. one. I got we, another one. We know that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Outdated. It's, yeah, good, good. Outdated. Were you looking for one? Cobwebs off of her. Yeah, Ew. An archaic <laughs> just bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Archaic. Good. All right, those are our words of the week. <laughs> Wonderful. That's what I got the for week. the week. We're gonna keep those rolling. Back. I think we should do that. Oh, that this was is fun. Great. This Anytime. Is good. <laughs> it is my honor, and uh, maybe we'll get a Google Calendar invite to make sure we're all. Oh, oh, we're yes. all in on this. We got yes. all be on, on the same it. page. Yeah. Be on the same page. Cool. I was just on edge. I thought it was April Fools. Yeah. And I thought we were getting cakes in the face. No problem. All good. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you me. very See much. You soon. See you next week. <laughs> so sorry about that, friends. No, that's okay. Not, not, not a problem. I'm so defensive too. I'm I like, know. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no sweat. Oh, that was actually Thank really you. good. That was great. Thank Those you, Francis. Clips are gonna go viral. <laughs> Bye. Uh, sorry once again. <laughs> okay. I was not involved in this conversation. I wasn't either. Who brought this up? I actually, that was a great idea. It was good. It was great. Whatever, we have to record. Okay. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> it was? Yeah. Does he know that? Yeah, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so what? I thought it I was, was going right? fucking crazy. I thought I was going absolutely crazy. I thought it was going fucking crazy. Our reactions are pretty. I'm a, being a dick. Ugh, not being a really. We I'm were like, just saying, I, this is April Fool's. We bought it. We didn't buy it. <laughs> and then they tricked us. They fucking gaslit us. Yeah. We just oh, got well. gaslit. Okay, so it was an April Fool's prank. Wow, that was like a full circle set. I'm sitting here like, dude, I was not involved in this conversation. Like, and I was like, you know what? It must have been me then, but I surely don't and remember. And they were gaslighting us into thinking we were just drunk. And like, then, I was not, and then I have never been that drunk. And then he comes immediately in. Immediately. Hello, ladies. Hi, Francis. Happy April Fool's. No, what the hell? <sighs> wow, that you guys, yeah. He's a good actor. He's a good actor. Wow. April Fool's. And we're Fools. dumb actresses. I know, and I was trying to even think of an April Fool's I could get you. It's impossible to get each other on April Fool's because we're so on edge like we just saw. Yeah, you're not getting me on April Fool's. Oh, we got my mom good. What the hell did you do? Zach called my mom this morning. It was actually bad. Oh, and my God. My sounds, oh, when you get them involved, it sounds like it's not going to be great. He calls my mom. Peggy, he's crying, basically. Peggy, Ollie got out in the city. Brianna's at work. Ollie's running around. I don't know what to do. My mom's reaction was just, fuck. <laughs> Ten Just seconds one, of silence. One letter fuck, word. Sad. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. And we could only keep it after two fox. He was like, April Fool's, April Fool's. Oh, no, God. That's you could brutal. hear her shattering. Yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, that was a good one, though. I was trying oh, to think of shit. one I could get. You couldn't. No, I was thinking on the way here. Me too.
After my mom dropped me off at the airport, mm-hmm. she she hit me with, we got a flat tire in the tunnel. I'm like, that really sucks. She goes, April Fool's. I'm like, well, that's only on y- you. you. Like, yeah, I'm, a good. I'm like, I'm already like, I can't see you anymore. Yeah. I already went through TSA. I'm in fucking New York. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. And April Fool's are pretty epic when they're good. When they're good. Have you ever gotten a good April Fool's joke or done a good April Fool's joke? My mom has literally done the cup thing where you put it over the, over the door. When you walk in, a bunch of water falls on you. Oh, that's just a prank. Yeah. Oh god. So my friend Daniela, she like where she where you're on the way to a friend's birthday party. I go, Daniela, did you hear? We gotta go soon because um Queen Latifah is performing at her birthday party. She goes, Wait, are you shitting me? We have to get an Uber right now. <laughs> and so I was like, Yeah, like let's go get an Uber. And then the other girl, she's like, Did you know about this? And the other girl, uh, like Caroline, she was like all in on it. She was like, Yeah, I knew about it, dude. Like, we have to get there. She was in on the prank. She was in on the prank. She's like, yeah, I don't know how. Like, I guess, like, um, Queen Latifah is, like, a really big fan of our friend and, like, like, really wanted wanted to perform at her birthday party, so she offered. Uh And so my friend Daniela, she was so in on it. She had no idea that it was even close to a prank. And she's going up to everyone at the party going, when is she coming out? Oh, my God. Do you guys know? And then she kept going up to people and being like, Queen Latifah's coming. Shh, don't tell me I told you. It was so fucking funny because it's so close to believable because it's Queen Latifah. Dude, but I'm actually pissed because I would be pumped for Queen Latifah to come out. I know. And the Queen Latifah doesn't come out. I know. The queen. Dude, and so I'm telling like one kid that we came with, I'm like, dude, Daniela believes it. He goes, what are you talking about? (laughs) I go, Daniela believes that that Queen Latifah's coming. He goes, <coughs> so did I. So did I. Do you know how many people I told? Oh my God. <laughs> the whole party thought that the so Queen Latifah was coming. It was a letdown of a party. <laughs> it was oh, really funny. Wow, that's epic. <laughs> it was good. Now you got to get Queen Latifah. And I even had people coming up to her at the party and saying, you heard about Queen Latifah. She's like, yes, when is she coming? Oh my God. <laughs> it that was is good. awesome. It was really good. Oh, Queen Latifah. I'm going to start using that. I wonder what Queen Latifah's doing. Oh, uh, decently. Uh, she actually, crazy Damn enough, you? just performed somewhere the other day no shit in new york mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wow crazy that's why it was fresh on the mind no uh, I, just... I pulled that out of my ass oh my it God. was crazy queen latifah queen latifah yeah she was a rapper before yeah she was she's a queen she really was she reminds me of my auntie rosie yeah she reminds me of my auntie coco yeah i have no idea why nope i have no they have the same mannerisms or something i, I don't think know. so i don't know just badass women badass bitches yeah badass women i'm just like you are so auntie <laughs> you are my aunt why are you my auntie <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, uh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian-approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. It's actually insane. So when me and Grace were playing house and she was sleeping over every night, she kept bringing her Factor meals over, and she cooked them in two minutes, and they were the best meals I've ever had. They taste so good. They have 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. So what are you waiting for? You can get started today today and get after your goals. They're two minute meals, like I said, so you can fuel up fast with factors, restaurant quality meals that are ready to eat and eat whenever you are. So pancakes, smoothies, more discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites and more. We were eating like uh, tomato chicken. There was like veggies involved. It was like a healthy meal and it took two minutes to make. So there's no prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, cooking or cleanup needed. This is for people that are busy with big schedules or people that just don't know how to cook and don't want to clean up. So go, you can head to factormeals.com slash plan brief for 50 and use code plan brief 50 to get 50% off. You can head to factormeals.com slash plan brief 50 and use code plan brief 50 to get 50% off. Make sure to check it out now. Let's get back to the episode. Oh, side note, since we're talking about Queens. Yes. Do you listen to Beyonce's new Cowboy Carter album? I haven't had the particular chance I yet. Dude, okay. <laughs> it's crazy because... Billboard and Beyonce are paying every influencer to like post about it. Is it just Jake Shane or is it everybody? I've seen a Bob Jillian. Okay. But I don't know if they're getting paid or they're just posting about it. Yeah. Which is like, ah, oh, dude, they got me. Yeah. I fucking got me. I got to listen to it now. Yeah. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. She is doing uh she is doing a cowboy album. But that's her thing. She wants to she wants to cross the box on she every wants genre. Every genre. Yeah, that's pretty sick. The, she has a song with Miley Cyrus. She redid the Miley Cyrus song I've heard in it and I think it's really good. 
Shotgun Rider. Mm. Um, she did a Jolene. Yes. Um, uh, remake mm-hmm. and dude, everyone's like, dude, Jolene has been catching strays for fifty years. I know, dead ass. This bitch is rent free in these I, hoes' heads. I saw somebody tweet, "If I was Jolene, I'd dead ass kill myself." Yeah, but or she's just <laughs> like, "I'm, I got your bitches press." <laughs> it's crazy. Miley Cyrus, Dolly Parton, and Beyonce. <laughs> crazy. I think it was actually Glo- Glorilla. Who she said, tweeted that? I think she said, I thought it was this bitch Jolene, I'd kill myself. That's, I mean, dude, yeah. Oh <laughs> really my God. Funny. It's fucking nuts. But the album is actually Damn. kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've heard just the Miley Cyrus song, and I think, it, and, and she Beyonce, of course. It doesn't hear, it doesn't sound that country. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, take a listen. It's got, it's, it's like a, like a theme. It's themed. It's a themed album. It's a themed Instead album. Instead of a genre. It's like a, it's cool. It feels like hip hop, like, like mixed with country. I don't know. Interesting. interesting because they have like producers on it like mark will made it and then it's a country song <laughs> mm, yeah. interesting it's pretty dope uh check it out uh, the, the cover is pretty sick but i was like oh my god has to be trash if they're paying so many people to listen to it or promote it i see i don't think these people are getting paid i think i think i think they just love it i think jake shane i saw he did a write-up on it no way he's not getting paid for that oh well, get... he loves the album regardless yeah but like i think i was wondering how that works because did he get paid to only say good things about it or just give a review or like what like i wonder what like was in the fine print gotta be good stuff right no because you could like if you if you're giving a review you give an honest opinion regardless mm. but if he's getting paid probably all honestly good stuff if you're getting paid you get to give your honest opinion regardless yeah I just, but if you're getting paid because he's getting paid by rolling stone yeah but i think he got paid to promote it and the write-up was part of a promotion that's where i'm thinking gotcha but uh, yeah, I saw Chris Olsen post about it. Anyways, the album was kind of cool. Yeah, I was uh, not. A so you gave it a listen. I gave it a listen. Oh, nice. Listen to it all the way through. She has a song with Willie Nelson. Oh but really? It's just... And then it's over. Oh yeah, check I... it out. I'll check it. Out. I have a listening party. I got it. Yeah. You just hopped off a plane from LAX. I just hopped off a plane from Boston. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. How's your Easter? My plane got wicked delayed. Yeah, what the fuck? That was crazy. How was your Easter? Um devastating um my grandma's in the hospital it's like all it's all bad news bears oh, sad I love um, you, Anna. but uh we just had some of my family family come over and characters there's a lot of characters my dad's friend walked in mm-hmm. to all the characters mm-hmm. and said mickey what the hell's going on in here <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of characters i got a photo yeah i was a little confused a lot of characters. Uh, quick commercial break. I got to ask you a question. <laughs> All right, guys. Quick commercial break. Uh, me and Natalie would rather be booking a spring break getaway to St. Bart's or I could rewatch the whole entire series of Game of Thrones by the time it takes to tame my hair. So introducing Way's new anti-frizz cream. If you're too busy to be frizzy, you can grab Way's new anti-frizz cream. It's actually amazing. When I've been living on the bus, I've been bringing this with me and it's been God sent, heaven sent. It's amazing. It's a lightweight cream that provides anti and immediate frizz control that lasts for up to 72 hours. Uh, you can get busy being free, frizz free with Way's new anti-frizz cream. It provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours, which is crazy. And it has a heat protection up to 450. So it's a two in one. It helps reduce and repair split ends while quenching dry hair with intense hydration. Since I've bleached my hair so much, this has really helped my hair a lot to feel smooth and not look like it's dry dry hay. So according to a consumer perception study, 90% of participants agreed their hair looks less frizzy. It's frizz free up your schedule now with way you can go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com and enter code Bree for 15% off any product. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com promo code Bree. Make sure to check out their new anti-frizz cream or all of their amazing products. Let's get back to the episode. Oh gosh, that was really bad. Uh, thanks for answering that question. Of course, yeah, we're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> oh, I just needed an answer on that. I mean, politically, it can't go out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Family, family precaution. Family Anyways, precaution. Anyways, it was a good Easter with the characters. Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, beautiful Easter. It was. Uh, what did you do? Uh, uh, Easter egg hunt at a concert. Easter egg hunt at a concert. At a concert. Explain more. Oh, uh, there was just an Easter. Well, because Zach had a concert on Easter. Okay. And it was the last concert of the show. Yes. So, uh, what? Of the of the first leg of the tour. Talk correct. You got it, honey. I can't, honey. You got I it. Don't have it anymore. Well, I was. I keep mixing up. I don't even understand how this happens, dude. I keep mixing up. Like you know how I always accidentally say mom lower. 
Pardon? Instead of lawnmower, I said oh, mon lower. Yeah, yeah. I keep doing that with every word. And mm. I'm like, how does my brain even do that? It's dyslexia of the mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome to what I've been living in for years. It's pretty painful. It's tough. It's feeling stupid. I feel stupid. I'm like, I don't even want to open my mouth. It's a little moronic. Plus, we had Francis here, and he just makes me feel stupid anyways. Without God. even trying. Oh, golly. I for- See, and I do actually have short-term memory loss. Can't even talk. I don't even remember the words. Hufflepuff. Yeah. <laughs> Scoundrel. Golly. Yeah. R- really seriously try. <laughs> Humdrum. Humdrum. I thought it was humbug. Humvee. Oh, oh. Matic- archaic. Archaic, I know that because I only knew that one. Because I know that one. Golly. <laughs> Galling. Galling. Um, meticulous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. Is this a tough listen? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good Easter. I, I feel like everyone's brain's feeling a little broken lately. This is the eclipse today, Grace. Yeah, I guess yeah, Mercury, retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. Uh, next, next week, week is, is the eclipse. eclipse. We're talking, exactly. We're talking about the eclipse today, and Hannah over there goes, fuck, I left my eclipse glasses at home. What the hell? You have those on lock? It was insane. <laughs> she just has her eclipse goggles on lock. Well, I've actually always got mine on lock. I'm exactly. ready to go. Exactly. <laughs> I would faint if I put, oh. It's Jackie O. They're YSL, honey. Honey. Talk to me rich, honey. or don't talk to me at all. Nordstrom Rack. No shit. 60% off. Saks off fifth. Fifth off Av. Oh, fucking help me. <laughs> Dear fucking help God, me. my Fuck. sweet girl. Guess what I went to bed at? What? 9 a.m. Oh, because I got a text at 7.30 that said, my sleep schedule, what? <laughs> I was <laughs> like, damn. Fun. My sleep schedule, archaic. Damn. I didn't even use that in the right terms. I'm just being they all didn't. fucked and shit. Sorry, kid. Mm-hmm. You ready to party tonight? <sighs> oh, yes, we're going to party. <laughs> it's time to party, like, now. Wow. Yeah, Whose party is it? Um, uh, um, the guy I date's party. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a birthday party. We got to blast off. I got to get him a t-shirt that says, turn 28. All I got was this lousy t-shirt on the back. It says, you kidding me? Good. That's good. <laughs> it's golden. I think that's funny. I think it's good. He but. says that a lot. I thought I thought I could get him a, a t-shirt that says... Um, Hope you don't hate it? Yes. But he has merch that says that. It would have been perfect. I know. He already coined Hope it. Hope you don't hate it. Hope you don't hate it. I was like, crazy. dude, this guy says that a lot. I know. <laughs> I'm totally going to make that tea. I'm going to make that t-shirt. Give it to him. I'm like, Hope you don't hate it. It's a present. It's that's perfect. Good. That is perfect. But it's too late. Yeah. Whatever. He already knows what he says a lot. I don't know. God. <laughs> God Golly. damn it. Golly. 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 Golly gee. Gee. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind Dude. of blast off mode. What did we do I, since last time we talked? Okay, so we went to Zach's show. You went 30,000 times. I went mm-hmm. twice. Twice mm-hmm. killed me. Yeah. And then I went out the next night mm-hmm. and I was death on water. Yes. It was crazy. Yes. So we, we, we go back to Wednesday. We go back to Wednesday. Wednesday night, we went to Zach's show. The first round of Friends was Tara with the Bruce. Oh, my God. And let the me boss. just say. The boss. The boss. Um, Bruce Springsteen is the same age as my grandmother. Yeah. Which is absolutely insane. And he, he's a fucking stud. Stud. Does not break a sweat. Mm-mm. Um casually cool just the coolest just so cool and but you know what blew my mind because i'm from boston where like it, people from jersey and new york bruce is god bruce is the boss bruce yes. is the, bro- the bruce is the boss bruce is the boss he comes on stage and everyone's going bruce sounds like boo yeah it gets a little I, misconstrued dude i thought everybody was booing him but everyone was going bruce dude it blew my mind for a long time i yeah. was like dude they really hate this guy that they love this guy no, this that's is like the kind boss. of like the guy's territory that's the thing. Bruce. Yeah. yeah, that's tough. So his whole life, he has no idea if he's being booed or bruised. Uh, he knows. The boss knows that they're saying bruised. What if he has a bad set? He doesn't. No. Literally doesn't. Ever? No. Good for Bruce. That's why he's the boss. Yeah, he's the boss. He's so chill and casual. I'm like, you... Okay, I think this is my theory on Bruce. Yeah. He's done the whole... You know when people live the whole rock star life do all the thing had all the thing and they lived it all that they come back around to just being normal yeah. it's like he did it was like a full 360 he just does the whole crazy thing he's like oh i'm just normal again maybe bruce was always bruce though yeah but like he was like bruce. he stayed true to brew i just think like <laughs> whoa he's bruce. bruce but i think he lived all like i just couldn't get over how nice and normal he was and mm-hmm. i'm like i think he just came back on the other end of it yeah he's just normal again like he, like he, like he never left. Yeah, he's just back to being fucking Bruce. Maybe he was always Bruce though. That's my thing. Oh, I didn't know him. I did. 
Back in the eighties? Yeah. We should have, actually you should have party with Bruce in the eighties. Me and Bruce when we went out in the eighties, mm. he has came back around. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. He's a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> He's a crazy motherfucker. Me, crazy. bro, eighties crazy. God damn it. I knew you were older than you led on. Uh, I know. Oh, I know. I'm archaic. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> Francis. What the fuck, yeah. buddy? Slap my face. Uh. <laughs> Wow, April Fools! Yeah, they I'm got feeling, me good. I'm feeling delusional. They got me really good on that April Fools. It, but like, it's not no, a, I know. At the beginning, no. You and guys like, just kind of held us against our will. It was really forced upon. You just and, made us feel bad. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, rats!" <laughs> We're like, "Well, what the fuck?" Well, you guys <laughs> gaslit us to believing it. And like, We're oh like, no, God. it's totally our fault. And then, and then they, and then they're like, "Oh, well, you guys must have been really drunk." Yes, <laughs> yes, I was. I know, and then I, I was Jerry like, Jerry Seinfeld, yes, uh, I was. And then I was like, I, was, I wasn't there because you guys went out after. And I'm like, dude, I wasn't even involved. They're like, yes, you were. You were drunk. I'm like, I wasn't there. Was I? I'm drunk. What is going on? Oh, speaking of which, stayed out till 3.30 in the morning. No shit. Closed the, closed the bar with the bartenders. Mm-hmm, always. Went, went home with one of our buddies. Just laid out. I just asked him to kiss again for the second time. I know. I know. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, can you? Okay, can you? Like, can you? Can we role play? Yeah. No. No, please. <laughs> oh, I need to know exactly it was, it was how it tough, went. You just put it out there. We have. I to. had to pretend that I was. I did. I wasn't waking Serious. up with the scaries in the morning. Okay. But well, you need to walk me through it. Um. Okay. So we go back. Uh-huh. We're we're like arm arm by arm walking buddies, back. Yeah. Like best buddies. Like like literally like like a movie like skipping through the streets back yeah. home. Yeah. Like and we couldn't stop giggling. Mm-hmm. We get back. We got like a twelve pack. It's like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Barely drinking our twelve pack, and I'm like, dude, should we just kiss? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no. And we both left. For like 30 minutes. Uh-huh. I, at least that's how I remember it. You just literally were like, should we kiss? I was like, wait, should we kiss? What? <laughs> Did that just come out of me? <laughs> and that's like the second time I've done that. It is the second time So no that. more of that. Well, now that and you then, figured it out, it's just a pr- prank. Oh, I was just pranking. It was you like were trolling. Early. I was trolling his ass. Trolling I was hard. trolling his ass. Mm-hmm. Got him. Got him. I woke up on his living room floor. God forbid he slept on the couch. I did. I, I, I remember falling asleep on the couch, kind of. Oh, then and then I woke up. Off. I woke up uh, in the living room floor with one cowgirl boot on, and that was a glittery mess. That was a glittery mess. Uh-huh. And then I woke up and I said, oh, "I gotta keep drinking." I woke up so drunk. Oh no! I woke and you up, just try to avoid the scaries. And I and I went into his room. And I said, "Oh my god, it had Larry's night, huh? I'm going home." <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm going all the way home to see you. And now, I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I trolled you. Sorry, I trolled you. I trolled you. your ass. <laughs> Prank. I <laughs> said, got him. You got him. Ooh, kill him. <laughs> it's a quad. It's a quad. <laughs> oh, you got his ass oh, good, baby. Uh, I freaking sold your boy out of there. Yeah, for real. Prank <laughs> that. <laughs> all the way home, bitch. Yeah, all the way home. It was hey, at least you got your last ask out. Dude, I couldn't stop <laughs> laughing. Because I, I was still drunk in the morning. I was like, that's hilarious. That's funny. I'm not I'm not ashamed. Your text I'm not got scared. Progre- progressively scarier to me. Yeah. I was still asleep and you texted me, Oh, just <laughs> ask blank to kiss. Ha ha that was so fucking funny, we're laughing. Then I got I just woke up on the ground. Ha ha, I'm still drunk. Ha ha. Oh my god, things are getting crazy. Ha ha oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Like throughout like in twenty minute increments, <laughs> literally all like that. It hit fast, and I was I couldn't stop laughing, I couldn't stop giggling, and then uh, and then like it was like four thirty five o'clock, and I have a, I had a set at seven, oh, and I and everything got dark and scary. Thank God not everybody went because it was couldn't. It was sold out. I know. <laughs> no, I'm saying all the people. Oh, oh, yeah. Zach's whole band was supposed to come. Yeah. Which I, I, I did not care for that so much. <laughs> <laughs> like on their day off. Yeah, come see me bomb. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Good I, thing nobody came. For yeah. That. But uh, no, it was sold out though. Um, and I, it was my first bomb in a little bit. Because you were cross-eyed. I was cross-eyed. I also blame uh, every time I, I perform in front of one of my buddies, uh, I just bomb every time. So... Who did Not you perform it, in, buddy? Jared. Oh. Every time I, I, I do Jared's show or Jared's there, I bomb. I don't okay, know what so it is. Okay, so now we need to... Well, I think every time you do... Before you do one of Jared's shows, you can have one of those nights before. I can't. You gotta stop doing that. Yeah, I gotta stop That's doing literally that. the secret recipe. Just stop doing that. Yeah, I know, obviously. Oh my God, you got the Krabby Patty formula. Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop doing that. Yeah, just literally <laughs> stop doing that. What the hell? That's the friggin' answer. Oh, God. Ah, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I know. It was good. That was good. It was good. Um, mm. Yeah. 
Good for so you. So that stunk. But then after, nah, I, I, I had a blast off time after. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. And then I just realized, like, you, you know, if there's a show, if there's a show the next day, we're going to stay away. Yeah, that's easy. Show the next day, stay away. Stay away. Or that's at least go in that. at a regular hour. Don't sleep on the couch with, mm. or the floor. The floor. Don't ask your baby best friend to kiss mm-hmm. and keep your boots on. Mm-hmm. And keep, walk stay home. Stay grounded. And walk home. Mm-hmm. Walk home with those boots on. Yeah, those boots are made for walking. We live and we learn. Yeah, we do. That you were just trolling. It was a troll ass weekend. We left um, Zach's show the second day and there was kids like and people waiting for him to come out. Yes. And one little boy, and this is like a flashback, one little boy came up to me to get my autograph. And I said, oh, sorry, buddy, I don't sing. (laughs) And I just didn't give him the autograph because I didn't want him to, like, have a... I didn't want to ruin, like, whatever his autograph book was. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy, I don't sing. But he wanted your autograph because he followed you, probably. Uh, He was too young to know better. I don't know. Those boots looked like you sang. Right? Yeah. (laughs) I looked like Dasha. And that ambush (laughs) in the back? Uh, I know. That was a big ambush in the back. What happened? Well, there was an ambush in the back of my pants. <laughs> they were just shorts. That sounds like you shit yourself. No, I didn't shit myself. Um, but it was yeah, a no. kilt, kind of, I guess. It was like, I don't know, because when I put it on, I was like, oh, that's so funny. In the front, you just put the skirt on. But then I, on the way out, I was like, oh, that ass is in shorts. That ass is in shorts. It was, yeah. yeah ambush. It was, it was an ambush. It truly is an ambush. That is the worst ambush, though. I remember I bought a skirt, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, it just has built-in shorts. Yeah. So excited. Get a glimpse of your ass, and it's ambush. like, that is, I don't think anyone should ever wear a skirt in the front shorts in the back. I don't know. I felt free, though. I yeah, really it's free. Them. Well, because you could lift up. Yeah. And it was party. It was party. When I found <laughs> out, I was out, and I was like, oh, it's just like a surprise. Yeah, it's God. And it's I was God's like, gift. oh, my ass is out like that. Like, I just wanted it to be a skirt. I just wanted to have a skirt with some squirts. It's better to know before. Yeah, of course. Because then you saw an ambush. Yeah, it was a fucking ambush. It was walking a fucking out of the ambush. house. Yeah. But that was legendary. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. So good for that. Yeah. yeah. That ass. I'm absolutely right. Yeah, so Bruce Springsteen rocks. Um, uh, oh, Maggie Rogers was looking what? Stupid good. Dude, I couldn't stop saying it. <laughs> yeah, Grace was in love was with going, Maggie Rogers. Mm, Maggie Rogers looking stupid good. Yeah. <laughs> I've never talked like that in my life. She was looking stupid good. And I was good, being though. serious. Yeah. <laughs> like, she looking star. stupid good. She was looking stupid good. <laughs> Yeah, Grace was totally That was cracking me up. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say before Maggie went on? And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like... You said something like... Remember you said something to her? And we were like, oh, it's getting misconstrued. Oh, oh, when she... The first night? Yeah. Yeah. I said... You're... Ah. Maggie, you're the shit. And then you thought I said, Maggie, you ain't shit. Yeah, it sounded like, it was yeah. like, no, no, Maggie, you're the shit. It sounded like, you ain't shit, Maggie. Yeah. But she was like, you the shit. <laughs> you the shit. <laughs> you ain't shit, crazy. Maggie. <laughs> you the shit. You ain't shit. You the shit. And, uh, damn, you looking crazy. Good. <laughs> Maggie yeah. got me all misconstrued. Yeah, like that one, real. Francis? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Oh, God, yeah. So is that, uh, no, that was a prank. I forgot. <laughs> I was going to say, was, is that a new segment? Yeah, God, I was. I literally <laughs> had him booked for the rest of the year. I was like, oh, we'll see you next week. We'll bring him in once a month to help our brains. He goes, let's get a Google calendar going, lady. <laughs> yeah, God, that was incredible. Oh, he's insane. an actor. He's an actor. Oh, he got me good. He did get me good. I wish I could get someone else good. Ah, oh, we could try to get someone good today. Who the hell are we going to get? T.I.? Oh, T.I. will be at the No function. further questions on that. Just let's get T.I. To this. Yeah, let's get him. All right. What are we going to say to him? Um, I'm not going to say a goddamn word. Me neither. I'm actually walking <laughs> the opposite direction. I'm not doing any pools for prank on T.I. Thank you very much. <laughs> that would be a legend Mr. Mode. Timberland. <laughs> I'm not That's doing his name? it. Yep. Yep. Timberland what? Investigation. <laughs> The investigator it has to be his Tim, name. What, uh, what is his name? It's Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., but... Okay, what does T.I. stand for? Oh, no, Timberland's a different guy. Yeah, Justin Timberlake? No. Oh, Timberland. Timberland. It's just a literal <laughs> Timberland. rapper. Timberland. <laughs> what thought... does T.I. stand for? The investigator, right? <laughs> <laughs> ten inches player! Oh, ten inches... <laughs> That was actually my next guess. Oh, it's Tip. I forgot it's Tip, and then they shortened it to T.I. Ten-inch player. Got oh, it. so now he's just ten-inch. Ten-inch player, the investigator. Yeah, I no. like it. Ten-inch. Oh, no wonder T.I.'s walking around like a shit does not stank. His literal name is Ten-inch Dick. Yeah, wow, that is absolutely Ten-inch player. Name. You can't give yourself that name. Yeah, well, you can. can you? If you have, yes, because if you have the ten inches. And no one's going to be like, prove it. 
Because uh, I mean, yeah. I think everybody's gonna ask to prove it, and that's how you get laid. Oh. Mr. Chip, Mr. Chip, I don't believe you. Come here, you can have whatever you like. Mm. I said you can have whatever you like, and then Stacks by the second deck. whatever you like, she's in the bathroom porta potty, in the hot tub. Yeah, uh-huh. at any function he he seems to be at. So, uh, let's see if he's married, and I'm gonna try this out tonight. Is Tip married? I'm feeling pretty optimistic. Optimistic and oh, he's married yep. to Tiny seems like maybe yeah. Yep. So married so to like, yeah. Tiny Harris. No, Tiny is... Whoa. 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 I don't know. I don't Come know. Come on now. Tiny and Tip, I don't know. <laughs> it's a 10-inch player and is Tiny. Is Tiny? Come on. <laughs> yeah, we get him. They go legally and change these. Okay, our full name's Tamika, but they changed it to Tiny. You I like this. You can't write this shit. No. This is too good. This is life. Tiny and 10-inch player. Wow. Tip. Tip. I said you could have whatever you like. This is sick. Wow, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. They got married in 2010. What a year. Yeah, how many marriages is that? Uh, it was 14 years ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good math, huh? Four it is right now. I didn't even need Francis for that. Nope. We need him for words. Wow. Okay. So. I've never seen T.I. Pip, Tippy, Tippy, Tip, Tip without his sunglasses. Oh, really? Yep. I have. Before he met Tiny. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right, all right. Well, you were only nine. So. You went to a T.I. concert when you were nine? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I, I knew I fucked with I you. I wish not. Dude, I'm playing with you. Oh, April fuck. fools your yeah. ass. Damn fuck it. Fuck you. That's pretty sick, though. It's all good. I can't wait for T.I., man. So, yeah, so, that's yeah, pretty much what we got up our sleeves. Pretty yeah. much. We're going to roll my sleeves up tonight and have whatever I like. I've already got mine ready to go. Jesus Christ, you do. Yeah. Mine don't even fit. Do no. I have pit stains? Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, I had, you I made had, eye contact. You actually didn't. Oh, thank you. You actually did not. I forgot to put deodorant on. You never smell. Oh, thanks. Except for sometimes. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Like, if you, if you, like, if you came back, the only time, I was, actually, I will say, you, I meant to tell you that, actually, recently, the other day, I need to put these down. I don't like that. All right. Um, you, you never smell. Yeah. You, you, and that's one thing. But when we were kids, you used to smell. Oh. Like, like, like after like cheerleading, like B.O. Oh, but yeah. like you haven't smelled like B.O. I was working hard. In a long time. Yeah. I don't work like, hard you anymore. Like, put the foot, you're freaking me out. I want a roller coaster of life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see how long I can keep them up. I'm going to get my heart rate up. Well, it's a goal. I'm falling asleep. Did they get a field goal? No. Is I... it good? No. <laughs> okay. Then Try. you'd put them down. No. I'm just living life. I told you that. <laughs> well, that means, yeah, they got it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but my hands aren't like this. They're like this. All right. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm freaking out. Uh, I'm starting to sweat. Let's see how long it takes for my sw- uh, pit stains to come through with my arms. That's up this perfect way. for an audio pod. <laughs> It, let's be for real. Everyone's watching this shit. Everybody Come better on. be watching. Hands up. Everybody, hands up right now. Come on. Oh, shit. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So after I got a boob job, I had no idea what size boobs I was. I went from about no boobs to a little boobs. And Third Love helped me find out my real bra size. So at Third Love, bras can be sexy and comfortable. Their bras are solve every problem bra. So you can bring back perkiness, get a smooth look, and ditch slipping straps, which is my favorite thing. So it comes in size from double A through H. So it includes everyone. And it's inclusive with half cups, which is awesome. I've never seen half cups ever in stores or online. So you can get wear tested by real women, including uh, me and Grace. We both have Third Love love bras and they're amazing their comfort and support are guaranteed plus they're super cute and you can visit their virtual fitting room to find your perfect fit fast that's what i did it's your time to get your bra problems solved so you can use code podcast 15 for 15 dollars off your first order at thirdlove.com it's time to get your problems solved you can use code podcast 15 for 15 dollars off your first order at thirdlove.com uh bras can be sexy and comfortable at the same time make sure to check it out let's get back to the episode do you like ham I do. It's a very polarizing meat. Actually, <laughs> do you? I don't usually like. <laughs> okay, we should Francis. bring Francis back in. <laughs> Harvard University announced Wednesday that it had been removed human skin from the binding of Des Destinies de la May, a book from Houghton Library after review found the book failed to meet ethical standards. No shit. But it's probably a wizardry book. Oh, so that's fine. <laughs> Want to see a crazy trick? Peyton, throw it to me. What the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> this is a visual pod right now. 
We have a really crazy trick about to happen. I can't even believe this thing exists. It will make you feel like you are in a magic realm. Fuck. Well, it died, and you're never going to feel magic again in your life. Well, this what makes a you blue feel ball, quite like you literally. are living in Harry Potter land. Ready? All right, Grace. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Good, right? Yeah, I like it. Okay. I like it a lot. Oh, it's in the crown. Oh, God. All right. And we're done. Oh, God. All right. That thing Now, for those of you good. listening at home, that was weird. <laughs> well, like I said, this is a visual pod. I am a visual learner. Okay, sure. Me too. Like in life, I'm like, just Like absolutely saying. every single time. I'm a visual learner. Me as well. I can't not be visually pleased. Mm -mm. If I'm just listening, even when I had to learn... Did you ever do online school or did you drop out before it started? Uh, I did a little bit of it for a, a semester. A little bit? I need to be physical. Like, even that isn't visual enough for me. I need to be in the classroom learning. Yeah. It was I was just cheating. Yeah. It's too easy to cheat. I wasn't even listening. I was sleeping with while it playing. Oh, God. It's ridiculous. All these people with online degrees, that ain't good. What? All these people with online degrees, that ain't good. I know. I I don't know how I feel about the online degrees um, for, like, nurses and such. Get because connected like for free. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's their education connection, but the people who, like, cheated all of COVID and they're nurses now? What the heck? I don't, I don't mm -hmm. ever want to go to the doctor anyway, <sighs> but I will. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Me and Grace are heading to Talladega soon. I'm kind of terrified. I've never been to Talladega before. I've never been to a NASCAR event, so I'm super fucking excited. So you can purchase tickets to tailgate with us in Talladega's famous North Park camping area. It's going to be insane. Tickets for the tailgate will also include general admission to the Geico 500, a Barstool Dega t-shirt, and access to a Saturday night concert featuring the Walker Hayes, which is, what the hell, insane. This is going to be so much fun. So track facts, Talladega Super Speedway is known as NASCAR's biggest and baddest track for the biggest and baddest girls me and grace it's 2.5 miles long where racing reaches 200 miles per hour with cars just inches apart it's going to be legendary there's star drivers like chase elliott denny hamlin ryan blaney uh ross chasson and bubba wallace so make sure to catch nash car full speed on netflix so you can watch your favorite drivers before they take on talladega superway or you can purchase tickets now to experience a barstool sports tailgate at talladega superway featuring me and grace i can't wait make sure to check it out we want to see you guys in talladega it's going to be a fucking blast let's get back to the episode uh, I got some headlines from page six. What? That th they swear they're not April Fool's jokes. So let's check them out. <laughs> okay, but they're real? Yeah, I mean, that's what they said. And okay. I'm going to take it for point face value. Me, me too. And I have no information other than the headlines. So okay. we can just discuss what we have here. Okay. Taylor Swift fans caused 2.3 magnitude earthquake during shows. I buy it. Sonia Morgan gets kicked out of a bar in Philadelphia's Gaberhood. Is that it. that is Real Housewives? Sonya. No shit. Yeah, it's a regular Tuesday for Sonya. Vera Vera Wang says vodka McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, and hard work keep her looking ageless at seventy four. Yay! And you have good genes. Nick Cannon forgets daughter Onyx when when oh let me run that back. Nick Cannon forgets daughter Onyx when asked to name all twelve children. No shit. There's too many to count. I'd hate to be that child. Mm, she's probably the last. The first. Um, oh, segue. I had a dream that Timothy Chalamet and pa Paul Mescal were t two um, gay men. And they walked into the, the they bar did, that did I was some in. They gay movies. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I walked into the bar that they, they were in and they were wearing little wife beaters. And like, like, like uh, honestly, I just looked at the red fedora, but I'm pretty sure they were wearing red fedoras. Okay. And they, they're they walking in and they're like, like super flamboyant, like uh, whatever. Uh, 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 oh, sorry. Are you hallucinating? There's not a red fedora over there. Does it matter? Okay, cool. Okay. You okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And because I know. And so anywho, mm -hmm. um, it's right there. Red fedora. Red fedora. It's not. The boa? Yeah. Okay. Those are two separate things. Different things. It's a boa. It's a boa. So that's what they were wearing. Okay. And Boas. what were they doing? 
being real touchy with each other, right? Oh, they were gay together. They were gay together. And we're all at this bar and like whatever. And That's a hot couple. And they walk in with uh, Paul's sister. And I, I ended up hooking up with Paul's sister. You're gay too. And I, yes. And I went back to, it was at Paul's house that I w- hooked up with the sister. And I'm leaving the sister's room yeah. going, ooh. And he goes, well, what the hell? You should have slept over with me. And I'm <gasps> like, oh my God, stop it. Two for one? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. So I'm having sex dreams as an adult. That's good. That's wrong. Why? Because that should have ended ages ago. <laughs> they cream Elons. Cream your sheets? I'm not creaming my sheets. Good. Enough's enough. Ugh. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, Catherine Zeta-Jones, she's sick of apologizing for being rich and gorgeous. I don't know who that is. Oh, dude, she was in Chicago. Chicago. Um, what else? Kathy Hilton's husband, Rick. Um... And her, so Kathy, Kathy Hilton and her husband Rick have once a week Cheesecake Factory dates because where else would they get meatloaf? What? That's what they said. They have, I mean, I was going to say Cheesecake Factory has meatloaf, but they've got a big menu. They've got everything. They've got everything. But like, where else would you get meatloaf? I don't know. Don't you have chefs? And don't you have a kitchen? Like, make it, Kathy. Kathy don't you can, own Kathy, a bunch of hotels? Kathy can't do shit. She's out of her fucking mind. Yes. She's out of her fucking yes. mind. Uh, Luann Delasweps. Confirms a fan threw up at her cabaret show. Yeah, yeah, it was us. <laughs> <laughs> it was us. Yeah, we came really close. Yeah, that was us. Came really close. We're at steak frites. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the news. <laughs> Have, I can't believe. Remember our cabinet was uh us. That was cabaret. Our, uh, I, 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 listen, it ain't on me. Sure. It ain't. It's on something my head is fucked. But that was our breaking. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to talk. So it's not like, I don't know you, Luann. I don't know what the fucking thing is called. I can't talk. Mm-hmm. No disrespect. Um, that was our breaking. That was the first drinking of dry January. Yeah. I've, it's been pretty sh- downhill since then. Yeah. It's been out of control. I, I haven't stopped. Yeah. I have not stopped. Yeah. I didn't drink. Oh, didn't drink yesterday for Easter. Whoa. Everyone asking me. Okay. Are you pregnant? No. This is that the joke dream here. Was real. This is the joke here. Is that everybody's asking me why I'm not drinking on Easter and they're all like freaking out. And I'm like, oh, I'm pregnant. And it's not even considered. It's laughed at. Oh. Uh, they go, not, why are you really not drinking? Why were you really not drinking? Because I didn't feel like it. I know. That's just crazy that you wouldn't drink it. You always drink on your holidays. I know. I just didn't feel like it. You said, I've been doing it. I've been putting the work too much on the streets. <laughs> You just didn't want to drink. I just didn't want to drink. Well, and you were going to the hospital. Yeah. That's not a place to be drunk. Uh, unless you want a to A glass of wine after the fact. Just yeah. to fucking to calm degree. down. Yeah. Uh, so everyone thought you weren't pregnant. Well, because because that would mean you would have gotten pregnant from a, from a one-night stand. So? You would never I, keep I it. I broke it to them very seriously. Like April Fool's. Oh, shit. And they were like, ha ha, why are you really not drinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, whatever. Whatever. I would have believed you. Bah humbug. Mm-hmm. Bah humbug. Oh, mm-hmm. that's another word. How are my dates looking? Um, we're getting there. Okay. Not mm-hmm. great. I just don't think you're going to like the guys. Oh. And I just don't want to. Like, I'm an open book. I'm ready to. I'm ready to. No. You're not. no. Okay. No, you're not. Well, it's, no, there's some. We should just give up then. No, why would Forever. you stopping so... I'm done giving up. Negative. You're I'm done, done giving, giving up. up. I'm done. Just now, I'm done. I giving gave, up. I gave up for a second, and I'm done. Okay, thank God. No problem. No problem. Yeah, um, I have a big problem. What? With this dating scene. Oh, want to hear something funny? Yes. Okay, so we're, we're out walking. This is just random segue. Okay. We're out walking. We're walking to the next bar. Okay. Some girl rolls down her window and screams at the top of her lungs. Yes. There's uh, There's like eight of us walking. Yes. In the city. And I didn't know I didn't know who she was screaming for. I, it, it was it was crazy. She goes, Timothy Chalamet. She thought my friend Jared was Timothy Chalamet. She Shut lost her fucking fuck mind. Up. That is. Have you seen the Timothy Chalamet video? No. I'm sorry, Timothy Chalamet. She, because she plays I wouldn't it. say I've been a hater, but I have been not on the train. I let the train pass me by. <laughs> okay, everyone's devastation. Shout out to Exactly what she did. Come by your name. Come by your name. 
That's crazy. I think it was a callback to that video. Oh my god, because she really, really, really thought it was him, and she was screaming just like that. Yeah, it's so funny. But th- th- on that, oh, oh my god, my head. On that video, what Brittany Broski was saying is that she was never on the Timothy Chalamet train. Yes, I'm kind of. I'm kind of on her wavelength. I'm on her wave. I'm always on her wave. Exactly yeah. what she's on, I'm riding the I'm same on train. It. Because I was never, we were never on the Timothy Chalamet wave. No. And now I'm like, okay. What the fuck? Hey! Call me my Timothy! Timothy! I'm like, fuck. Uh, what that, what, how? Dude, Brady Broski fucking crushes, by the way. She's the funniest person in the world. Seriously, I'll give it to her hands down. Like, what, out of doubt? Dude. Funniest person in the world. Off the rip, too. She, her brain is just like, I don't get, like, she is just it's so fire. fucking impressively funny and smart. Oh my god. And yeah. she's good. And she she retains a lot of pop culture That's information. She's smart. That's and she's smart. like smart, like, she's like smart just in general, too. Yeah, because like, she can she can talk about political issues, like, on a, on a flip of a hat as and, well. And like, well spoken. The, like, her jokes, she can always have a joke with mm. whatever, like, it's quick as possible she's and a, she sings like a freaking okay it's a singing blew me blew me down it's unfair I for her to believe, possess that many good qualities i couldn't believe it dude th- fuck fuck getting me blind dates th- i need this woman to find her her prince i know oh it'll come or princess it'll come it's prince it's prince prince it's prince timothy it's princess oh she deserves timothy oh when she met harry styles that was hilarious oh my she god she goes oh no god no no <laughs> no oh my god she's so awesome oh she rocks plus she does a dolo pod it's just it's hard to do oh she's so funny dude she rocks yeah so shout out her and i'm on the same page about that timothy shit because where did that fuck that shit i didn't even see dune 2 it just came to me i'm like what the fuck <laughs> you tell me it's pretty cool you see dune 1 yeah mm. i don't remember it that was too long too many long ago uh, everyone say about dune 2 Doing two, <laughs> the worms, dick bags, the dick pussies, buckets. the pussy yeah. bucket. Ugh. What? It's just gross. Ugh. Women it's... should only speak when spoken to. No, it's gross that that people are probably doing weird things to those buckets. Men. You would, I know, you're horny. I know. <laughs> what happened? Caleb sent me that that fucking clip and said, you are the horniest bastard. You go into jail. Thank God you already know someone in there. Horny Glenny jail. Balls. Horny jail. You and Glenny Balls. <laughs> you should start an OnlyFans podcast. No! <laughs> Horny jail. Grace and Glenny Balls. I actually tried to prank Glenny one time and say, dude, it's kind of fucked up you didn't ask me to be on your podcast yet. And mm-hmm. He's like, you have an OnlyFans? I was like, yeah. And I just dropped the ball because I felt weird lying about that. <laughs> yeah, have him look it up. He's just searching Grace O'Malley naked in front of everyone on the big screen. And then he screen. finds it. Yeah, how do you <laughs> that find I it? Do have one? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's all, that's quite all right. That's just not my. That's just not my cup of tea. I don't. I don't drink that tea with lemon. No, I'm thinking that's just wow. Imagine you like prank at someone and then you find your news on the internet. Oh God. It, I've never taken a news, so good luck. That would be. See, it would be crazy. AI is crazy. Ever though. in my life. You don't have to. Start. I have got You're gonna the have to cleanest... start tonight. Why? Date night. Tiny, tiny, big, tiny, big, tiny, ten no, inch Nothing to do player. with him. He's married to Teeny. Uh, it's tiny. <laughs> teeny, tiny. Dude. <sighs> what? I've given several girls the nickname Tiny in my life. I know. And you call it to their faces. And they love it. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. She told me to keep calling me that. Uh, another one said, that is not my name. Why does she keep calling me Tiny? I'm like, what is your name? Because I was going to be calling you Tiny, too. I mean, your name's Tiny. You're fucking simply Tiny. You're a Tiny you're dancer. You're a Tiny, Tiny girl. Yeah, you're a Tiny, Tiny girl. You're a Tiny. Sad. I don't want to be called Tiny. No, but, oh, but Titi, I'm so skinny. But if you're a Tiny, you're Tiny. Yeah, if you're Tiny. I'm going to call you Tiny you're if you're Tiny. tiny. <laughs> Minnie Mouse Tiny bitch. <laughs> you're Tiny little Mm, tiny girl. Tiny, tiny girl. <laughs> oh, don't call me big bitch, though. Uh-oh. God, tiny can be called. Tiny is cool, because I'm not Don't call me big bird. I'm not. Mm-mm. Don't call me big bird. <laughs> don't call me big bird. Don't call me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why call me big bird? I'm tiny. I'm tiny. <laughs> oh, teeny, tiny dancer. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, somebody told me that I am so tall the other day. I said, go go tell Brianna what you just said. <laughs> and took your shoes off. <laughs> and then I was still, she said, you're still tall to me. Yeah, but you were losing your mind. Yeah. Yeah. No one ever said you weren't tall. You all the time. Oh my god. No, I don't. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, shorty. You call me shorty. Oh, when you take you a call me shorty. short all the time. Oh, because Grace short. hates tiny people. <laughs> I don't hate tiny people. So I think people. it's funny and to be I like, I don't hate tiny people. <laughs> Grace hates tiny people. She calls people tiny, tiny, tiny. So I'm like, oh, you're so tiny, Grace. No, you're so tiny. No, you call me a little shorty. Shorty. Oh, Grace, you're so short. And a mental midget. So tiny. <laughs> and no, I, mental midget's epic. I know. 
Well, I don't and call you that. It's I wish we coined that. Someone else coined that. Damn it. I wish we could have coined that. Then we started using it. I'm like, fuck, I wish we came up with that. Damn it, that's good. Teeny tiny girl. You're so short, Grace. Dude. I'm like one inch taller than Grace. And I know. And she calls me short. And I'm like, dude, we're literally both the same height. Literally. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was saying like, um, we, we were like looking at my passport or something. And you're like, five, seven. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Daddy. You call me short all the time. Yeah, it's so funny. Dude, and it's <laughs> awesome because whenever she wears heels and I'm wearing flats, it's, oh, you're looking pretty short, Brie. And then whenever I'm wearing fucking heels and she's wearing flats, I'm like, you're fucking tiny. <laughs> Teeny tiny. What are you saying up there? I think we're the only Big people bird. that enjoy like being tall. <laughs> I know. Everyone else is like, I want to be so teeny. Girls want to be like teeny tiny. You ever see the um the TikToks where it's like uh what my boyfriends can see from 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 his eyes yeah. at the bar yeah first oh no 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 it's what their guy friends can see from from the bar and what the the, the tiny girls can see from the bar they can't see shit i don't want to live like that they can't see shit han i'm sorry you can't see shit i know you when can't see where the, the concert, bartender is I was like you can't, can't see. see like you are just walking around looking at people's belly buttons oh you know those upside down goggles yeah they short people need those so they can see up yeah Right? You need to look up. They need to look up. Well, you gotta get some stilts. Yeah, God. Mm. Side out here being tiny. We're so tall. We're wicked tall. Set so me up on so tall bags. Tall. You're pretty short, though, tall. buddy. Fuck you, tall bags. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Tall bags? What's nope. Up? I'm gonna big wear bird. big huge stilettos tonight. Don't call me Big Bird. <laughs> yeah, you don't like that, do you? Big Bird. Don't call me Big Bird. I call don't me Big Bird. Girl. All right, yeah. So, two tall girls, yep. one teeny tiny dancer, mm-hmm. one 10 inch <laughs> player. 10 inch player yeah. really so all right so in what? his first couple of songs in his life he was going around saying it's your boy tip it's me i smell bad no no, i don't smell I'm, i don't uh, smell anything i'm oh. just saying if am i sweating yet no you're not sweating yet a little bit i don't see anything cool see yeah what is he saying like in his first in his first couple songs he, is he saying what's up it's your boy t-i-p tip i think he used to go by tip yeah then yeah, it, it says that, but like, have you ever heard a song where he's like, "It's your boy T.I.P. Tip"? No, but I don't even think he says it's your boy T.I. 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 I think, think he's he does. Like, he goes, Yo. Yo, it's T.I. No, that's just Jason Derulo. No one else really like lets themselves be known that they're Mike in Will the song. Mike Will made it. Yeah, but that's a producer. Beats made by Mike Will. He made the song. He mm-hmm. has to let everyone know. Just, dude, don't you like? You don't. I feel like that's like not humble at all. No. Mike will made it. No, Shit, I need relax. I need respect on my name. If I am not getting any credit for the song besides in the fine print, Mike will made it. Okay. What's another one like that? Um, Metro Boomin. Uh, uh, Murder on the beat. Mm-hmm. Ho. Jazzy made it. Is that Mike will made it? Um, oh, Jazzy made it. Supersonic. That's just a song. Yeah. Funky fresh. Work my body. Yeah. I love that song. That was Hopefully a good song that to song make a dance tonight. to. I know. Yeah. Do you ever remember what's that Little Wayne song? Oh, and that's not Lil Wayne. But do you remember making a dance to this in my basement? Mm. Oh, shit, shake your ass, now move, move it, it like, like a, a gypsy. gypsy. Do you mm-hmm. remember making this yep. song? And then what, I mean, this hip swing. We made a dance to this in my basement, trying to be hot. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know where we thought this dance was going to be showcased. Definitely at one of the gatherings of which teenagers will be at dances. And we were going to bust that out on the floor. We've never been that bold. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been cool. If we were We've doing never that. been that bold. <laughs> We've never been that That's bold. Good. I wish we were when we were younger. Never <laughs> We've never been that bold, but we were making. We wanted to be bold like yeah, that. We just never left the basement. Oh, I'm still waiting to get picked up for prom. I know, God, <laughs> dude, Jesus, it's crazy. It's been a while. I know. I still got ten years. Somebody's gonna throw me a prom. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. Oh my God. You know what's actually hilarious? What? So my my mom's friend growing up, he missed his. He missed his first communion, and it was like, or his confirmation. One of them, one one of them, where you dress white, dress in white. First communion. First communion. Yeah, he missed his first communion, and like for his whole life, he never stopped talking about. It. He's like, dude, stop talking about your first communions. I didn't get to have one. Did he sleep through it? He, like, I think someone in his family died or something. All oh, right. Yeah, it's tough. But in like their forties, they threw him a first communion party and That's everybody sick. dressed up and everybody had the veils. I love that. And it was freaking awesome. Made up for long lost time. We'll throw you a prom. Thank you. Is that sad though? No, don't throw me a prom. Okay. That's what I'll, I I'd have to personally throw my own prom, Serena Kerrigan style. Okay. That's enough for the episode today. All right. That's going to do it. Yep. Uh, right, sure. We're going to go hang out with Tip. 
Oh, T-I-P and tiny. Tiny. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>